you probably had with a p-value less than 0.05 the result was statistically significant in which case the null hypothesis should be rejected so what does it mean let's begin by come up with an example let's say that we have a sample of two group of students and we want to, to compare the, their performance uh, we can use as a variable uh, exam score and we have first to set the null hypothesis there is no difference in the performance between the two groups and the otherwise alternative hypothesis there is a difference in performance between the two groups if the p-value is greater than uh, 0.05, the result is not statistically significant and we don't reject the null hypothesis. To have a p-value, we have to first set a confidence level. So in most of the time, is used a uh, 95% that correspond uh, for alpha 0.05 when is one-sided test and the, uh, zero point, we divide by two uh, to have 0 0.025 if it's two uh, sided test. So two side test is used to test whether there is a difference between two means without any directionality. So uh, when uh, we compare the two uh, means and the p-value fall in this area, it means that there is no significant evidence of the difference and we go to the null hypothesis. In one side test, we only test whether one mean is a greater or less uh, than other. So we have a p-value decision for confidence level of uh, 95% uh, uh, that correspond to 0 0.05 for alpha. When p-value is greater than 0 0.05, the result is not statistically significant and it don't reject the null hypothesis and when p value is less than 0 0.05 the result is a statistically significant general rejected the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis is more likely to be true thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like